What if I told you that the oil pressure low warning light on your dash could be lying to you? Sounds crazy, right? But it's true that pesky little lamp might be glowing even when your oil level is perfectly fine. Now, why would your trusty vehicle betray you like that? Well, in this video, I'll expose the hidden reasons why your oil pressure seems to be taking a nosedive. I'll not only show you how to diagnose the problem, but also reveal effective ways to clear those stubborn blockages and restore smooth oil flow. The primary purpose of oil warning light is to alert you when the oil pressure drops below a safe level, which can lead to catastrophic engine damage if left unaddressed. Keep in mind that oil warning light is different from the low oil level indicator. Oil warning light has a sign like Aladdin's lamp which glows yellow. If engine oil pressure becomes significantly less, the same oil warning light will illuminate in red color. While a low oil level can itself contribute to low oil pressure, the oil pressure warning specifically signifies that there is an issue with the pressure itself, not necessarily the quantity of oil in the engine. If you continue to drive with low oil pressure, it can cause metal on metal contact between engine moving parts which leads to excessive wear, scoring, and potentially complete engine failure. Before proceeding further, make sure that you have been using the right viscosity of engine oil as mentioned in your manual. Using the wrong oil or oil that has degraded over time can affect its ability to flow properly and maintain the necessary pressure. Now, let's discuss potential reasons why you might be experiencing low oil pressure even when your oil level appears to be adequate. Number one, faulty oil pressure sensor or sending unit. Oil pressure sending unit is usually screwed into engine block or head right beside the oil filter. It may malfunction and provide incorrect signal to the vehicle's computer or gauge indicating low oil pressure, even when the actual oil level and pressure are normal. You may check for potential issues with the oil pressure sensor, such as blockages in the oil hole, dirty or leaking components, or faulty wiring connections. Improper grounding of the sensor or its wiring can result in inaccurate readings and trigger the low oil pressure light. You can also test oil pressure sensor by removing it and installing a manual oil pressure gauge temporarily. This will allow you to verify the actual oil pressure in the engine. You can perform another test by measuring resistance across terminals and applying regulated fluid or air pressure to the sensor. Then see if resistance changes accordingly. You can compare it with specs of the sensor. A typical oil pressure sensor may read 0 ohm at 0 psi, 45 ohm at 40 psi, and 90 ohm at 80 psi. Number 2. Failing oil pump. Engine oil pump is driven mechanically by the engine. The oil pump's operation is designed to provide a constant flow of oil, regardless of engine speed, to meet the lubrication and cooling needs of the engine. As engine speed increases, flow rate of oil will also increase. When oil pump fails or does not rotate smoothly, it loses the ability to properly pump oil through the engine system which will cause low oil pressure, even though the oil is full. Before inspecting oil pump, check and clean the pressure relief valve and relief port for any debris that may be preventing proper priming or causing the valve to stick open. You can also use feeler gauge to measure clearance between internal components such as gears and housing. Also observe signs of wear, scoring and debris. Number 3. Clogged or Restricted Oil Pickup Tube Oil pickup tube extends from oil pump to oil pan. A clogged oil pickup tube hinders the flow of oil and causes low oil pressure even if oil is full. Drop the oil pan and inspect the pickup tube and screen for any debris, sludge, or obstructions. Foreign objects like pieces of plastic, aluminum foil, or gasket material can get stuck in the pickup tube, restricting oil flow. You can use carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner to dissolve and remove sludge buildup on the screen. Number 4. Clogged Oil Filter the oil filter is present after the oil pump. The exact location depends on vehicle. In some vehicles, oil filter is located under intake manifold at the back of the engine while in other vehicles, it is located under the front bumper or under the engine. When oil filter is clogged, oil pump has to work harder to push the oil through the clogged filter, resulting in lower oil pressure on the downstream side of the oil filter. The oil pressure sensor after the oil filter will detect low oil pressure after the clogged oil filter and send signals to the ECU. It will turn on the oil warning light. Number 5. Excessive bearing clearances, blockages in oil galleries, or engine wear. High mileage engines can have excessive wear and increased clearances between engine components and bearings. Excessive crankshaft runout can cause bearing wear and low oil pressure and failed camshaft bearings can also contribute to low oil pressure. There may be blockages or obstructions in the oil galleries and passages that supply oil to various engine components. Worn out piston rings can increase oil consumption as the oil can enter the engine cylinders and burn, which affects oil pressure. That's why high mileage engines require engine oil with a slightly thicker viscosity. Now, in case of obstructions or blockages in oil galleries, you can consider flushing the engine oil system. You should use Liqui Moly or any other reputable product to flush oil system. Drain all engine oil and run the engine at varying RPMs for about 15 minutes after adding the flush product to circulate it thoroughly. Replace the oil filter and refill with fresh, high quality engine oil. Consider repeating the flush process if significant debris is observed. After flushing, monitor the oil pressure at different engine speeds and temperatures. Let me know in the comments if you've dealt with problem of low oil pressure light, even if oil is full. 
If you want dive deeper, check the link down below in video description. Be sure to like and subscribe to Auto Corner for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.